this is an introduction video to my journey with the pastoral pipes and also a little bit the pastoral pipes themselves. I'm going to be recording tunes as I learn them, mostly from the Irish, the Welsh, perhaps the Breton and French repertoire as well, which is mostly what I play. Pastoral pipes is consists of uh, an open chanter. This chanter is tuned to D. It's also got a low C. I've got two full octaves and it goes to the E above the high D according to the finger chart. I've not got there myself yet because I am a beginner. I'm a novice still. So it's bellows blown and it has a multi-drone stock. Three drones tuned on the octave to D, bass, baritone and tenor. Is that how it goes? I think so. Either way, three octaves with the bass D here. This is a folding drone, so it reduces the length, the total length of the drones, which is handy at sessions when you're crowded around a table and there's not much space. It is the ancestor and contemporary to the Illum pipes. I think these were last known to be played before their dying out and subsequent renaissance. After the First World War, Illum pipes were developed in the 19th century. Simply, people took the foot joint off and this then could be played as a closed chanter by putting it on, on the player's knee. And then the tuning when you simply take this off and play it as a close chanter is almost the same, if not the same, as an Illin chanter. I don't play Illin pipes. Um, I've had a go on them and as, as far as I got with them this is practically the same. But because this is made as a pastoral pipe, this is a, made by John Swain as a pastoral pipe, then, um, then the tuning is optimised for the open chanter. But um, hopefully at some point I'll get around to uh, learning something a bit better in the Illin tuning and I'll be able to record that perhaps. But uh, it's certainly optimised and intended to play with it open, which is how I've been playing pipes up till now. I've been learning on a John Swain set of student border pipes for a few years. And I have uh, only just a few weeks ago received these and I've been playing them like mad. The wood I've used here is Mopane and we have boxwood mounts along with brass fittings. Now apart from the chanter, the other big difference to the Illum pipes is the, um, this, as it is here, has no regulators on. I don't see myself ever wanting, needing or being able to afford regulators, so that isn't an issue to me. I'm sure with a bit of fiddling and fettling you could include a, re a regulator. Other pipe makers make pastoral pipes with regulators. Um, that's part of the uh, evolution towards the uh, Illenbag pipe, obviously. So, let's see what they can do. So here I am strapped in to the pastoral pipes, the um, drones sit nicely across the knee. The main advantage of this is with the folded bass drone, folded so, so much here, it's nice and neat, but still has that nice deep bass D. And obviously it's a D tuned chanter like I said, these pipes made by John Swain. Um, the D chanter, we've got a low C and there's a tonic. We, uh, apart from an E flat, it's chromatic, I think. I'm pretty sure that apart from these E flats in both octaves, and obviously there's no um, C sharp here. But once you get up to here, we've got a C sharp and a C natural. And we've got all the other notes. I quite like having um, 
the B flat because there's quite a lot of the Breton stuff I play and some of the Welsh tunes require that there's a B flat in, in both octaves as well in the Welsh tunes in particular we have um, B's and B flats in the um, upper octave quite a lot which is good and traditional Welsh pipes can't do that so I guess those would be harp or fiddle tunes but I'm going to be able to play them on pipes hopefully once I've learned how to play them all I guess the other big difference to this and the Ellen chanter is that the bag pressure, the, the chanter is a lot more sensitive to the, the pressure. So um, I know there's a whole story about the book written by John uh, Gowan or Gogan. I think it's John Gowan. Um, and they wondered if it was even possible for the chanter to flip up octaves so easily. It turns out. That, um, that it is on this chanter. Uh, you don't need to stop the chanter, you can't stop the chanter as such with, with this to go up into the octave. You just need to put a tiny little grace note on the, on, on the D, the D in the middle, and then it'll go right up to, uh, well I've got it straight up to, 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 to B pretty much. Um, I haven't played above B yet. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm going to work up to that. Uh, most of the tunes that I need re require either a high G, a high A or a high B as their highest note. But there are tunes, uh, certainly watch tunes, that, that, that go right up to the high D. So one day we're going to try that. But um, So getting used to these pipes is all about getting used to the uh, the bag pressure. Because if you get the wrong bag pressure, and things start to go wrong. Um, but so you have to get the bag pressure to just right. And, the, uh, and that controls the intonation. If you don't get it precisely right, you lose a bit of intonation. Uh, and then if you get it horrendously wrong, it either cuts out or it squeaks. And that's all about just learning to work with the chanter. But it's such a beautiful thing that um, I'm really enjoying doing that. So I'm going to just play through fairly slowly a Welsh tune, it's all in the lower octave, but it's a nice little Welsh tune in D. Put out a beast. Pastoral Pipes. I'm going to be learning these and I'll record a few more tunes as I get them down and hopefully I'll re-record that particular tune when I've got that one down. But uh, yeah, what a lovely set of pipes. <laughs> 